Hello, my name is Lee Baker, Alvamega. Today I'd like to take you through the features and ranges of the new PAT 300 series of portable appliance testers. The PAT 300 series consists of two products. Firstly, we have the PAT 320 and we have the PAT 350. The only difference being the PAT 350 has a flash test function. We'll cover that a little bit later on. Both of these products are manufactured and designed in our factory in Dover. The PAT 300 portable appliance testers are semi-automatic, fully functional, dual voltage, and they all test to the current IEEE code practice. Now what I'd like to do is run through some of the features on the products. So, what makes these testers better than what's on the market at the moment? First of all, they're the quickest in its class. That means you can do more testing, which means more money for you. Continuous operation. That means that you can do testing without fear of the instrument breaking down or overheating. Simple push button operation. Simple, easy, one button push straight into testing. Color display. That enables you to see pass and fail results in bold, bright colors. Pass are green, fail are red. We also have a built-in RCD tester. That enables you to test RCD plugs. What I'd like to do now is go through each individual test within the pack tester. Start off with our bottom row of buttons, which are manual testing, and the first one that we go to is our earth bond test. To carry out the earth bond test, we need to take our earth bond lead, which comes supplied with a clip or a probe, and connect it into the top of the instrument, like so. Before starting the earth bond test, we have an added feature on the PAT 300 series, and that is the ability to null out the lead. To do so, you connect the bond lead at the top, like so, and then connect the other end to the zero post. Once that's been done, using our keys, we select setup, scroll to lead null, press OK, and then select set lead null and press test. And that's the lead nulled. From then, we can remove our lead and begin our earth bond test. Having nulled out our earth bond lead, all I have to do now is connect our appliance, like so, and select our bond test. You can now see on the screen we're faced with three test currents. 25 amp, 10 amp, and a 200 milliamp for sensitive equipment. Once you've selected the test that you want to do, connect your earth bond lead to your equipment and press the test button. You can see the timer counting down from five seconds, but that is user changeable from one second to continuous. And you can see on the screen there, we have our test results. That was the earth bond function. So what we'll look at next is our insulation test. To perform an insulation test, we use the same lead. In reality, that means we can leave the lead plugged in, saving you more time. For the insulation testing, there are a number of tests that we can do, depending on the equipment that you're testing. We have 230 volt, where you can do a 500 volt or 250 volt class 1 or class 2 insulation test. And then we have the same for the 110 volt, again 500 volt, 250 volt, class 1, class 2. Again, by pressing the insulation button, you can now see on the screen 
class 1, 500 volt, 230 volt, or 110. And simply by navigating through the screen, you can choose which test you prefer to do. So I'll choose class 1, 500 volt, for a 230 volt piece of equipment, and press the test button. Once again, you can see the counter has started at 5 seconds. Again, that is user variable. The clock is counted down, and we now have our result. OK, so that was insulation. Now let's look at the earth leakage. The leakage test is sometimes used in place of the insulation test, where you may not want to put 500 volts through an appliance. In order to do the test, we simply again press our leakage button, and you can now see on the screen we are now faced with three different test sequences. We have differential leakage, a touch current, and a substitute leakage. We simply scroll down to the one that we want to do, and I'll choose to do the touch current. Select it, and press the test button. Once again, you can see the time of counting down, and our result is being displayed, and there's our final result. Great. Now what we'll do is we'll have a look at the load test, which is sometimes referred as the operation test. As with previous tests, to initiate, all we do is simply press the appropriate button. As you can see, once again, the timer is set at 5 seconds, but care must be taken with the load test, because as with the leakage test, the equipment will be powered up. We press the test button, the clock starts to count down, our result is being displayed on the screen. OK. Now, for those of you that are using the PAT350, let's now take a look at our flash test. Flash testing. For that, we take our red probe, attach it to the PAT tester at the top, and then twist to ensure it's locked in place. To initiate the flash test, we need to press the button once again. And you can now see on the screen, we're faced with 1500 volts for class 1 testing and 3000 volts for class 2 testing. And also, we can do 230 or 110 volt testing. We select 230, we press the test button, and this time you can see we have a safety feature built into the PAT350 that tells us that we need to continue holding the test button in order to initiate the test. The test has been done. And there's our result. Those are the manual tests. But as mentioned earlier, the PAT300 series is a semi-automatic PAT tester. So what I'd like to do now is show you the testing sequences which will allow you to test a complete appliance with one press of a button.